Hello everyone. So today we are going to see how to add different types of cars into this train simulation. So here you can see this here at the end we have a few flat cars and then few tank cars and then few box cars and then just regular passenger cars. So this is what you are going to work on today. How to have different types of train cars into the train simulation. So the train is also moving, those parts are not really changed, those things work as it was before. So the doors get closed before the train starts moving and now it starts moving. And these wheels are also turning because these are skeletal measures and I have added animations. So yeah, this is what we are going to work on today. And here is the train in action. Also, I would like to remind that this uh, bridge also and including the railroad is procedurally generated. We worked on those things in initial episodes. So if you want to learn them too, you can refer to the previous videos. So yeah, let's look into how to have different types of cars today train cars okay so these are the models that I have imported so I have three car types for the train uh, including the default one I have all of the four. This is like a tank, and this is a flat car, and this is a box car. So using these, we are going to implement a way to have different types of cars for this train, not just this passenger cars. Okay, so how do we go about that? So let me first open the blueprint. And in the construction script, this is where I add train cars. So by default, we have this train car, the default train car, which is this one. So now we need a way to set a different car. So we can do it like this, set skeletal mesh asset. So we can set it and we need to select. We can implement a selection method using an index. So since I have a uh, how many? One, two, three, four. Since I have four types, I'll add uh, well I'll add only three pins because by default we have the default car and Oh no, we need to have four. So first one is obviously the default car, which is this one. And then I'll have the box car. Then I'll have the tank then the flat one flat car okay now here we need let's define a literal link and if I keep it zero it's all this default cars and if I set it to one and compile all are changed to these box type cars and if I change to 2 they will be converted to these tankers and similarly now we will move if I make it 3 all of them are flat okay so now what we need is a way to define which type of a car should be 
for each of this index so let me collapse this into a function get car type uh maybe mesh get car mesh yeah mesh and i'll make this a pure function now let's implement this so how should we implement this we can implement a logic like from index 0 to index 10 passenger cars then 10 to 15 tankers then boxes we can implement something like that or we can implement a logic based on this number of cars uh, let's say I want to have half of the cars as passenger cars so there is an easy way to do that but let me define it like this option 4 flat option 3 tank and option 2 box and option 0 and option 1 uh, what's the type? Oh, it's just car. Rain car. Now, um, I think I might need an index here. Yeah, input. Index. So this will represent the index of the car mesh that has been added. not an output we need it as an input okay now we can get the number of cars divide it by divided by 5 then Get the index and divide it with this value and that should go as the index now if I compile mm -hmm, nothing happened why oh, I don't think I connected it yeah I have to connect this right now see we have initial cars as passenger cars and then this storage or box cars and then these oil tankers and finally we have some flat cars okay and let me just start moving so since these drones don't have any doors they don't open but after a while the doors will be, will be closed and the train will start moving like this okay so yeah i think that's all i wanted to do for this episode so thanks for watching as always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Cloud. See you in another episode. Goodbye.